Hello, and thank you again for joining us here for PPI 365's Microsoft Dynamics training demo series. My name is Kelsey Chambers, and today we're going to cover how to create goals within the Sales Hub on Microsoft Dynamics 365. Okay, so to begin with, we're going to go ahead and select on the sitemap icon and go down to Goals. Selecting Goals, you'll notice on the command bar that there is a New button. We'll go ahead and select New, and we're going to fill in the information. So the name, we're going to go ahead and select 65 and our goal metric. This is how the goal will be tracked. So let's go ahead and see. Let's do it by revenue and then the goal owner. I'm going to go ahead and do myself. Now keep in mind that goals can be set for individuals as well as teams. Let's go ahead and hit save. Now, if you do select a parent goal for the school, you can also you can't select a goal metric. It is automatically populated based off of your parent goal. Um, go ahead and, like I mentioned before, select save. And on the time period tab, once you hit save, you'll notice that these additional tabs open. So we're going to specify if it's a fiscal period or a custom period. So we're going to go ahead and leave it on quarter three, but this is where you could go ahead and enter in the specific information here. And then you can change it again from custom to fiscal. We'll go ahead and leave it on fiscal. Um, keep in mind that if the again, if the goal has a parent goal, you also won't be able to specify the time period. It is automatically populated from that parent goal as well. So on our targets tab, we're going to go ahead and specify the target value. So for instance, we can do 100,000 and maybe that's the individual goal. Um, you do need to have a decimal. This is required as the goal is metric for this one because we did select revenue. So the next thing that we can do is we're going to once again make sure that we're continuously hitting save. However, keep in mind Dynamics 365 does save every 30 seconds automatically, but we always want to be safe rather than sorry. Um, so the next thing that we're going to do is you can actually track the stretch target as well um, if we have that option available. So you would be able to do that based off of maybe an amount or if the type is money. So keep that in mind that that's also an option. If you want to add an existing goal as a child goal, if this was the parent's goal, then you can go ahead and select this on the child goal tab. Okay, And then on the goal criteria tab, you can see if it rolls up from a child goal, which this one is not. This is its own goal on its own. And then you can record setup for the roll up which we're going to go ahead and once again leave that the way that it is. You do also have a notes tab where you can enter in any information. So this might be a good place where you could put in QA information if maybe the goals are relevant based on that. You also have participating records so you can add opportunities and, and see the actual data that rolls up to the goal itself. So once again, we're going to go ahead and get save, hit save, and then this is where we'll be able to, once we hit goals, see that this is listed back here again. So we don't actually have any leads or opportunities tracked in the system yet, but once it is in here, you'll be able to see the percentage achieved here, the actual goal, and where the progress is at. Remember that you can also see individualized views by selecting create view as well. Thank you again for joining us here at PPI 365 for our Microsoft Dynamics training demo series. Come check us out on LinkedIn for our Cloud Corner every Wednesday, and you can also check out our other training demo videos. Leave us a comment and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. If you want to be notified every time we post a new video, remember to hit that notification bell. As always, if you have any questions, please reach us at info, that's info, at PPI. 365.com. We hope you join us again soon.